I'm here. Here I go. Any trap? 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 No? Okay. Pick it up. Ooh, a shaw. Uh, in character, could you use that? I, I'll get to it. On it. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, you need me? Traps? No. Quick save. It. Get it. Uh, that's a journal. Could be something. I knew. I I knew not. Of fear until today, it was not taught by in my youth nor acquired through my years. Yet somehow it was suddenly arrived at my door, ready to consume all that which um, the humans, the elves. Only they are capable of such character. Only they are able to bend what those around them need. Us. Uh, okay. Nope. Okay. I want Z to get back over here. In case the lich uh, raises again. Yes. Here I go. Open door. Traps. Aha. Wherever there's a trap, there's ought to be something good. Open up. What do you got? Oh. Damn. Ooh, 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 ooh. Something new, something different, something different, something different. Aha! Ah, there it is! Got it! Okay, so now. Um, no, chapter. Quest. Important events. That uh, right, uh, we would need to obtain his soul container for the Hall of Heroes and bring it to the tomb of Jamoth, also within also within the Hall of Heroes. Oh. Uh, the tears of the dead. Oh, is this okay? Oh, this I'm I'm gonna hope this is the Hall of Heroes. Locked. What? Oh no! Oh no. Um, actually, you come in here. Because the key, we could be... Also in here. Um. Oh, that's Terrakin's key. So, okay, uh, what is this? What did I, what did I attain? Resonance journal. No, not that. Terrakin's journal, okay. Uh, this portion of the deep has been a pleasant surprise to say the least, not only to the ancient dwarven. T okay. Uh, they're fine. Oh, God! Get out of there. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm trying to click in you. Get out, 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 out. Okay. Um. For, wait, first off, actually, drink that potion. Put you to 14 HP. Nope. Well, oh, God. We're kidding, dude. Um, heal yourself. Yes. Followed by you. Go ahead and smite. Oh, wait. Nope. Just go ahead and lay on hands yourself. Hey, you need me? Okay. Um,. All right. Hmm, I will begin my final trans uh, transcendence and my ascendance existence. 
Ascended existence within this region will ensure that my power is without challenge. My new minions are unable to ever find their peace as long as my thoughts occupy what is left of their minds. Okay, morning 23. Uh, curious ex a curious experience today. I finally managed to open the door to Jameis' tomb, and upon entering, I was overcome with fatigue. At first, I felt as though I may have unintentionally sprung a trap, but upon revisiting the tomb later, I discounted that, that possibility. I felt as though it, life itself were leaving my body and twisting my coherence. I will need to investigate this room further um, further in the future and ex uh, exercise caution. I feel as though they, there may be something within those chambers that would challenge my occupation of these halls. I've given up attempting to open the door to Worm's Tooth. I had hoped to have visited the area to gather some uh, necessities for my rite of passage, but it appears to be impossible to move the door in any way without its key. I know from my readings of the lore scattered about here that the key was placed in or around the Dwarven Monument outside of the cemetery. Uh, but its hiding place appears to be impossible to find in the Forge's current state. I'm afraid that without current resources, the process will render me weaker than I originally intended, but I appear to have no choice but to do but to use what I have. I'm gonna go ahead and give those to her. Uh, but... Oh dear. Right. I doubt I'm gonna be able to open it. Yeah, I didn't think... Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Oh. What is this? Uh, Genix Journal. Okay. I've occupied this empty tomb for several days now, and I will be attempting to cross the cemetery once again tomorrow morning. The door to the outside passage is locked, and I know the key rests within a container built into the side of the Fort Inge Monument. Some stroke of luck or higher intervention, I was able to avoid the attention of the dreadful lich on my last trip across, but upon inspection of the forge, I was able to locate the receptacle. It's a receptacle. It seems likely that the monument will need to be restored to its original working state before the container's whereabouts could be determined but I have been unable to locate anything remotely resembling a switch, lever, or the like that would activate it. I can only assume that the Lich is responsible, and as long as he is present within these chambers, I will be unable to find the key un un and unable to escape. I have found powerful magics within these tombs, but even if by some amazing stroke of luck I was able to dispatch a foul creature, he, was, mm, he has undoubtedly hidden his life force container beyond these walls. Without its destruction, his absence from the, this world is purely temporary, and be, upon returning, I do not dare dwell on the horrible fate that would be at, no, stalking me. Oh, no. I mean, I have to go back into the tears? Oh, God. Listening. While I wait, actually, Ready. just go ahead and drink your potion. Yes. On it. Okay. Oh. Okay, the last few weeks have been a blur, I don't know, blur, but I will recount as best as I can. Arriving at Dorne's Deep in the middle of the night did not lead to a warm welcome by the dwarves, mm, dwarves, especially with what had come to pass between both our races. As expected, the dwarves were very apprehensive of what I had to say. There were too many fresh and open wounds between both our peoples. 
Uh, situations like this are never easy, but I consider myself as good a diplomat as father, perhaps better. Each day spent in council did not end until late evening, and always in pure exhaustion. We argued and bickered over the recent past events, although we will still continue. We still continue to spend countless hours in council. The dwarves began to trust that I had hidden no maliciousness behind my words. The dwarves agreed to a treaty in the name of the greater good for both our races later that week. I had been successful on my part. I saw hope for the first time in many months. The only thing left was to return home and convince my own people that this was our only chance uh, at true salvation. The hardest part would be to convince Father, but he, mm, but he, mm, but he will listen. He must listen, else let our people face death. Next morning, almost um, made the last few weeks uh, work in vain. A dwarven scout arrived and told us the largest orcish army he had ever seen was only hours away. With little time to our mm, uh, to prepare, our defenses were overrun and the orcs began to pour into Dorne's Deep. We began our retreat into the depths of Dorne's uh, Deep. Key passages were collapsed to cover our movements and buy us time. Even such dark conditions disallowed the dwarves to control when and where we would fight. Every battle cost the orcs dearly as the dwarves fought on their turns, but we were still being driven farther and farther back. Even now, we made preparations to retreat farther into a worm's tooth uh, glacier. Even as grim as this sounds, I still hold hope. Hope that I will tell father of how I fought, aside, uh, fought side by side with our dwarven friends as in days of old. Hope that he will hear the tales of the dwarves who sacrificed their lives so that I may return home someday to reunite both our peoples. Hope to see my father's stubborn face once again. For my people and Seldrin's hand. A vein. Oh, no. Too far away? Yeah, too far away. Completely waiting for that lich to just re-res itself. Into the fact that phylactery is suddenly whisked from your possession and disintegrates in mid air. A horrible howling is heard through the area. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that is nice. Oh, okay, okay. Whew. Oh, that was... Okay, that's fantastic. Wow. Anyways. You need to carry that. You, identify this. Who can... Who cannot use it? No evil character. Okay, good. Uh, oh, what do you got? Boom. Is this a normal helmet? Yes, that's just a normal helmet. Okay. And then what is this? Owen's Lullaby. Owen's Lullaby was created by a, a disturbing bard named Owen Piper. Piper was a worshiper of Aruil. 
Born in the uh, town of Silvermoon. Oh. Cards, oh, you can do Cone of Cold. 10d4 plus 10 cold. Okay. That is. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, right. Your inventory is full. This is, oh, I feel happy right now. Hey, you need me? On it. Okay, this is the first door. This is a special chain mail, apparently. Give that to use to identify maximum hit points plus 10, where it regenerates one hit point per turn. Oh, you know what? I'll take it, actually. I'll take that. Does it work? Orders. I'm listening. Oh man, we just gotta wait to see if it actually works. If it does work, oh, that's fantastic. Oh wait, per turn, that's every 10 rounds. Oh, then. Oh. Oh, then. No, I don't care about that. The only, only person who can wear it is you. But if you wear it, you can't cast spells. <sighs> That's a bit unfortunate. I'm still... I still I'm still getting confused by the damn turn thing. We'll just take that off you. Give this to you. Oh, wait. Can you... Nope. You're the only one who, carry, who can carry it? Oh, this is terribly rude. Longsword plus one, two end plus one. Where's a bag of holding when you need it? Okay. I still got Jamas Tomb, Ein Evane's Tomb. Oh. Yeah, here I go. And this is ah. Ooh, a special bastard sword. Character is too far away? Okay, well. Get in range. What do we got? Fire uh, fire resistance plus 50%. 10% chance um, a 5-hit die fireball is released. I I don't know how I feel about that. I 
I really don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, I really don't know how I feel about that. Speak your mind. Hmm. How can I help? Yeah, I really don't know how I feel about that. Your command? Oh, can you only... Oh, yeah, you can only do that once per day. It shall be done. Care amount of wounds one per day, neutralize one day, remove armor paralysis one day. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, do not uh, do one last extra check. Make sure I didn't miss anything. I miss anything? Nope. That's good. I would really, really. Ooh, Bryce Journal. Uh, the Great Mountain Moon is completed today, and it's a wonder to see. Okay, if there's any doubt to the significance of my role within the Dorn community, let it be, let it know now be laid to rest. There are those who find pride and glory in this and in, in the chase, traveling above and underground to ensure the good fortune of our home. But I am not one of the not one of them. I must admit, I too would take up the uh, arms. Should my name be called to protect those around me? But until that day, I feel myself far more resourceful creating the weapons and wielding them. In honor of our new marvel, I have created a special blade that I will place within the other items commissioned for the monument receptacle. Should they? Should the day come for the? Uh, should the day come that our way of life is defended? I'm guessing that must be that instead of the. That our way of life is defended by a sole survivor, he will fight with the will of many, knowing that I have provided him with weapon worthy of such an honor. Okay. And I already checked in here, so pretty sure I don't. Oh, that's right. Uh... Hi. Hi. Uh, here I go. Okay. We are in the midst of item management now. Now... Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got plenty Hi. of room, so... What is this spell? This is Chaos, level 5. Uh, the effects of this spell are identical to the 4th level spell, Confusion, all aspects. The the victims were wander around as if in a daze, sometimes wandering away, sometimes attacking their friend, 
or foe. When the victim is fourth level or lower, he does not receive a saving throw versus the effects. However, if the victim is fifth level or higher, receives a saving throw at minus four. The spell lasts for the duration or until it is successful, the spell magic is cast. Gotcha. Didn't I know? Well. Yes. Let's uh see what's out in the hall. I do kind of want to see if I can open this up right quick, but very well. Oh, I thought he was gonna be like right here, and I can. Pick oh, wait! There's still a bunch of. Oh, there's still a bunch of loot. Oh God! On it. What's in here? Oh, a magic ring. Identify. Ooh. Cannot give item. Inventory full. <sighs> Hold on that for a second, Lilia. This item cannot be, be equipped. I guess we'll do that instead. All right, give that bastard her back. Oh my. Take your toes. Do 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 Okay, nothing? A sword! Nothing. Nothing. What do you got? Just, just, just a tackle plus one. Oh dear. I am, Nice and oh, there we go. Yes, here I go. Ah, uh, that was uh, that was a doozy. And I still got a bunch of areas left to go. Yeah, that's just a sword. Nothing. A heavy crossbow. Those inventory is like we are. Oh, another one of those. Oh, another one of those. You're gonna have to hold on to that. Oh dear God! How can I help? Very well. We are. Oh, this is one of those moments in time where I would absolutely love a freaking. Are you overweight? You are. What's the heaviest item? That's a two. It's probably this. Weight seven. Now you're overweight. Oh, dear God. Weight 12. Um. What do you. Oh, you, you, you can carry it. You can carry it. Okay. Now we're. Now, now, now we're. Now we're overweight. We're full. 
super overweight. I would love a freaking... Oh, Buddy's gone. Of course. Oh! Very well. They all lead into the same area. As the hearth warms the room, so is my heart warmed, knowing that my brothers will return to their rest. We owe, we owe you much, traveler. I'm glad I could help. If you gaze upon the forge, you will uh, now notice the outline of a re receptacle. With, within, in, you know, within is a key to the door to the Hall of Heroes that leads to Worm's Tooth Glacier. I have faith that the answer you seek... Uh... Oh, oop, the seek will become clear once you reach the glacier. Thank you again, friend, and may Moradin Mor Mor smile upon you. Wow, that's a lot of XP. Damn. Whoo. Boom. Oh, God. Hold on. Shit. I should probably have looked. Okay, so what is this? Is it a plus two? Oh, I... Oh. Yeah, I don't want to use that. Well, anyways. Oh, yeah. Okay, so 10 to 17, 6 to 9, versus 8 to 17, 9 to 15. And this only gets better. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this. Okay, so I did actually figure this out. The critical hit for the katana is actually going to be like 19 and 20. So, because it's only a plus 5%. And like 5 times 20 is 100. And so, a plus 5 is means uh, an extra 1. Oh my god, can I go and sell now? Oh, this would be fantastic. Also, level up. Uh, you, oh. Uh. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah, by the way, level hype. Oh. Single weapon. This fighting style is for characters who do not wish to use a shield, but want some bonus when using a one-handed melee weapon. I 
I suppose we can give you start giving you points in two handed sword. Sure, we'll do that. We'll do that. And that's it? That's it. Okay. Oh, yeah, by the way, I... Oh. You have the most... You, okay, you, you have the most uh, space, so... Boom. Oh, more weight! 